is very old and it has whiskers, I know. But many times I have to sing it to myself and it says, I don't know about tomorrow. It may bring me poverty, but the one that feeds the sparrow, and this just gave me chills all over, is the one that stands by me. Amen. And in other words, I know who I serve, I know where I'm going, and I know when I die, I'm going to be with my family and all of you people when you die. And so what more can we ask for? I know it's hard to lose, don't pull the red card. I know it's hard to leave, uh, you know how comfortable it gets when you're in one place for so long? And that's gonna really be hard because all of you have become my family. I'm the baby of nine kids, you all know that, right? I never get to do, tell anybody what to do except here. When I go back there, they all tell me what to do because I'm the baby and I let them because I just kind of love it. Anyway, but I'm not kidding that they're all living back here, but one brother and my father, all the rest of us are still alive and still kicking. And when I go back there for the month and then I get ready to leave, I have withdrawals, you know, you kind of get weepy a little bit for a couple days. But then I know I'm coming home to you. And I know that as long as I have you, that I can, I'm okay because I have family. And if I don't have you, what am I going to do? So when we retire, you can't just let us go. You know, we don't want to go. I don't want to go. But I want you to know that I love you so much. And every one of you in here represents a little part of my family. And you'll always be my family no matter where I go or what happens. And I want you to know that I love each one of you. Thank you so much for being a vital part of our ministry and our lives. I must said amen. <laughs> well, Wayne, I want to wish you congratulations. And uh, I served as a youth pastor here, I think in 90 to 93. And I jotted down the top 10 memories and things that really happened here at Southport Church in the three South years I was here. South I mean, not Southport, Delta, I'm sorry. <laughs> Delta Church of the Nazarene, when we were over on Hammer Lane. And so, uh, number 10, Wayne, you know, since you're retiring, you can't really get in trouble anymore, right? I mean, after this, so. Uh, number 10, shooting squirrels out the back door with the 22 we kept in the church office when we were bored. <laughs> Number nine, when Wayne and I bought a Fiat together hoping to make money, we lost our shirts. <laughs> huh? Fix it again, Tony. Number eight, uh, the snake in the briefcase at the pizza parlor. A real live snake in the briefcase that my wife opened up when uh, Becky and Dorcas were there. Oh and when it popped out of the briefcase and screamed and woke the pizza parlor up. Number seven, uh, the week Todd Barnes was supposed to preach, um, and Todd had called in early and said that he wasn't prepared, he didn't want to preach on a Sunday night, 